new star citizen patches as well as new star citizen updates we can expect to see this week this and more let's get straight into it before we get into this video i'd like y'all to know that i'm doing a giveaway for a mori pulse in order to participate all you have to do is be subscribed and leave a comment in any video between now and the end of june let's get into this video as to what to expect this week cig has made it known that we can expect a roadmap update as well as a roadmap roundup update as well in addition to this the invictus launch week is also ending by tomorrow which is going to be wednesday so this is your opportunity to actually go out and rent all the ships that you like to try out before if you whether you want to uh, uh purchase it later or if you just want to try them out this is a great opportunity for you to do that because if you rent it before the launch week ends you'll have two days to actually have those vehicles so go out and get them now before the event ends yesterday we did receive a patch update with star citizen alpha 3.23.1a and uh, this one comes with a few updates for ships and vehicles they increase the firebird missile count from 12 to 24 the saving firebirds emission has also been reduced by 40 percent and also they've updated the retaliator to have size 3 guns for all turrets and also they've done an updated turret constraints as well for Cortec, they've removed vehicle entrance markers when in different zones or too far away. They made further client performance optimizations and vehicle hit damage network performance optimizations has also been done. This one comes with a few bug fixes as well. They fixed an issue causing clients uh, to experience a generic 30k and disconnect when loaded into the PU. They fixed uh, an issue where AI is reacting to non-hostile players firing causing them to not get an attention target they fix an issue where shield effects are not playing correctly they fix an issue where exiting or getting up prompt is missing from beds now this is for multiple vehicles they fix an issue where destroying illegal probes causing players to have crime stats they also fix an issue where precision targeting gimbal mode active without being in precision mode the fishing issue where asphyxiation issue present in different locations of ships now this is for the retaliator the fishing issue where multi-tool tractor beams attach force weapon sensitivity depending on lift weight along with this is five client crashes one server crash and a fixed and out of memory client crash as well pertaining to the hangar patch now this is going to be star season alpha 3.23.2 patch they initially from last week say that they wanted to have it out by tuesday which is as of yesterday but they run into some issues so they're now projecting it to be dropping to evocati by thursday hopefully it all goes well i am expecting a long patch cycle for this one because the hangar feature touches literally every other feature so they need to make sure that they go through a thorough testing cycle with this one so i think this one will take a while i also think there's probably going to be some dependencies for server meshing for this as well so uh, we can expect a long patch cycle for this one what i'm also going to do is i'm going to leave the spectrum link in the description for you to check it out and before i let y'all go i'm letting the new people know that if you're looking for an organization you can check out mine phase one industries if you are interested you can find our discord link in the description down below don't forget to leave a like subscribe catch you guys on the next one